Hello everybody, my name is Archer and welcome to a game called Hypnagogia. I've heard good things about this, I haven't played it, and this is the, um, the post-jam version. I know there's a full version, which we might do a playthrough of, and depending on how good this does, but I figured we'll give this a shot and see, well, we'll see what the deal's about, you know, because I've heard good things. I don't know anything about this, but I guess we're going to find out. Ooh. One sec. I was gonna try and get the, um, the intro logos, but for some reason my recording software, my OBS hates that, so, uh, we're just gonna do this. Hello, bunny creature. Hi, I'm Gaki. Welcome to the Dream Hub! You can view controls or leave the hub from the pause menu using the tab key or start if you're using a controller. There's one bright red crystal in each dream. They may be hard to find, so look everywhere and talk to everyone. Also, things may get weird or surreal later. These are dreams, after all. If something really weird happens, though, be sure to let the dev know. Anywho, you'll probably be seeing me around. I'll activate the first pillar for you. Catch you later. I see. We can jump. Okay, cool. I love the way this this crystal looks. Ah, oh, we're going to Japan land. I, I can't read that. Oh, hey. Climb Cat Tower. Oh, you mean like, um, Neko Yumi. I like that jump noise. Ooh, I'm curious. Oh. Upper downer. Dream interrupted. Interesting. Learn? I see. What a warm, fuzzy feeling I have right now. Sometimes it's the smallest things in life that need your most attention. The cats here will be happy to see a face. A new face. Uh, hope you brought some treats. Anyways, tell them Goki said hello. Will do, friend. I feel like one of these days I need to play the original LSD Dream Emulator at some point. I, I actually haven't yet, despite my love of weird games, mainly because it's... I don't really emulate PS2 games, but also it's it's fairly hard to get a hold of. What are you? Greetings, Traveler. We've been expecting you. Please visit our temple and speak with the Elder Cat. It sits to the east on top of the hill. You can't miss it. Okay. Loving the cat zone so far. No secrets. Here's one of these things again. Welcome to our sanctuary, traveler. It is an honor to have you here. We hope you find peace and comfort within our walls. Please stay as long as you'd like. Oh, what? Oh. That's cute. So far, I mean, this is, according to this, I'm assuming we're on an, an upper, and it's only going to get more weird from here. Oh, I can't go on the walls. Okay. Hmm. I love the dithering effect. I know it's going to absolutely eat my encoder alive, but I love the dithering. I'm always a fan of dithers like this, because it just has that nice feeling to it. You're a pleasant sight for an old cat. Don't mind me, just keeping the grounds clean. If you wish to speak of our elder, he's inside. Okay. Look at them, they're all just vibing. Um, excuse me, I don't want to interrupt, but, um... They're meditating, best to leave them undisturbed, yeah. That texture looked a little weird for a second, I thought that was something. Oh my god, it's just a really big cat. Hello. We have many leather-bound books here, and our temple smells of rich mahogany. Why don't you stay and rest for a while? Hello, Elder Cat. You're kind of creepy, honestly. Oh. Welcome to our sacred tower, restful one. Your presence is of the highest honor to us. 
Now to business, I wish to make a trade with you. I haven't eaten all day and grow very hungry. The monks are too busy to help me, but you look up to the task. Bring me a fish with which to eat, and I will reward you. Hurry now, I'll be waiting here. Okay. I was hoping the books would have secret stuff on them. So, do I just gotta... Get up there? How do I get up there? Hmm. Let me double check the controls make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I can't really, uh... I don't think I can get up there. Oh, you moved, hey. Helping I'll do with a small task, how noble of you. As you can see, we are busy people. Lots to do, lots to do. Maybe you should speak with some of the other monks in the garden below. Oh, it's cat faces. I didn't realize. It's cat faces. I hear gossip of a task you've been given by our elder. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of help, but you should try speaking with our welcoming monk down the stairs over there. Okay. Hmm. I don't like how they're all directing me to, to come check on this guy. I don't know why, but that feels a little odd. Hey, buddy. What's up? I believe I can show you the right direction. Keep a small bundle of fish for snacking when I get hungry. Take a look under the ramp leading towards the temple. Feel free to take as much as you like, I have plenty spare. Under the ramp leading to the temple. Well, thank you, friend. Is that their way of just throwing, like, you know, fucking casting suspicion on that guy? Just like, hmm, look at him and his fish. I want fish, but he doesn't share with me. No. Under here. Like, here? Ah! There's some fish here. You take the whole bundle. They're... Oh. Barely able to hold them all. Okay. Well. Take as many as you'd like. I mean, you did say that, so I'm taking all of them. Hello, Elder Cat. I have brought you a, a sacrifice of fish. Delicious. Thank you for your offering, kind traveler. Honor my end of the bargain and grant you passage. Please, ascend the steps above to the top of the temple where you find it will help you on your journey. Good fortune on you and take care. Maru. Meow. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, meow. <laughs> Hello. Fortunate the Elder feeds us well. We love our tuna. Oh, how nice. I like the little, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I was going to say confraternary, but that's not the right word for it. Um, commune? Um, they're not a cult, at least as far as I can tell. Um, monastery? No, that's not the right word I'm looking for. Anyway, I love the little, little, little cat goobs. They're, they're all right. They're friends. Friend cats. Oh. It's not often we get to see a sunrise as beautiful as this one. Take a moment to breathe, relax those shoulders, and stretch. The scenery below is just an added bonus the rest are weary eyes on. Take good care of yourself. You and the others will appreciate it. See, these are just chill cats. I like the cats. Cats are nice. Can't wait for this to get super fucking weird. <laughs> Here's the dream hub again. Hey, what do you have to say this time? Did you know this game was one uh, made by one person for the 2020 LSD Game Jam? It's one person! Good job! Dev spent a total of 26 days finalizing the code, art, and animations. They worked from October 30th through November 25th for nearly 8 hours a day. No, oh, yeah, it fucking shows. Jesus. That's a lot of work for this. I mean, granted, these aren't you can't just 3D print a game out of your ass easy, but, you know. Yeah, we're gonna get up or downer. Okay. Well, a bit of a draft way up here, wouldn't you agree? Sometimes I forget to stop and breathe a little. In a world full of problems, the soft sound of wind calms us all. You'll be fine, just don't look down. Woo! Woo! 
Woo! Just don't look down. That's cool. Oh. Damis is a much venerated and deeply celebrated god. Homes, pleasure, and dance are but a few elements of his divine being. Okay. Are you up here because you have lots of worries too? Are you a crystal person? You know, you know what? Okay. I like it because it lets me clear my head and finally think. Reading the inscriptions of our immaculately carved statues helps me relax too. That is true. Mildir is a vastly honored and often obeyed god. Answers, riddles, and life are his principal elements of this divine being. I love how... I mean, I know it's it's based on, like, dream journals and stuff, but I just love how weird this is. I don't know why, but it's always refreshing to play a weird game like this, because, like, this makes sense to somebody, you know what I mean? There's a method to the madness. Wenrir is a hugely respected and greatly praised god. Peace, balance, and nature. Nice. Clouds are so underappreciated. Just look at them. They're majestic chariots of air, water, and lightning. Oh, that's rad. Something so delicate yet deadly. It's rather humbling. That's a good way of looking at it, I guess. A chariot of lightning is something I'm going to have to start saying more often. Geus? Greatly esteem. Property, nature, and birth. Hmm. I don't like the flesh platforms, that's, um... Well, I mean, it's probably dirt and, like, roots, but it looks like flesh, so it's weird. Let's do this. Hello, Crystal Gremlin. Welcome to my sky palace. You seem pretty far from home, am I right? Well, unfortunately, if you wish to proceed, you must face a challenge. You must fight me to the death in a battle of epic proportions. I'm kidding. what I even do? Just float and chime, not much of a threat, huh? What can I- what I can do, however, is show you the way home. Just talk to my brother over yonder. He looks like me, only smaller. I love you, Crystal Chime Man. You're a homie. I love the fact he's like, let's fight to the death! Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I'll show you how to get home. Over yonder. Crystal Chime, brother. This way. Ooh. You know, if I wasn't recording, I could totally just, like, vibe with this. I'm a sucker for, like, waterfalls like this. What are you? I see. I'm not normally a fan of big heights. Gives me chills. Flying this high would be dangerous in any other circumstance. There's a bellowy pillow of clouds under us, though, so that's nice, at least. Thanks. Hello, crystal friend. Hi. Hey, isn't the mind a beautiful place to escape to? There's no limits here. You're free to do whatever you want. It's a bit frightening being given so much power, don't you think? Right now, I'm racing robot jaguars on the moon. Nice. Why robot jaguars, though? They're not really, like... I mean, they're cool, I guess, but, you know... Leopards? Maybe maybe leopard seals with, like, little uh, robot legs? I don't know. Something cool. Here's these guys. Ah. It's gonna be a puzzle, isn't it? I assume you've spoken to my older brother back there. He likes a good joke from time to time, as you can guess. Anyway, the path behind me takes deeper into the dream. I'll open it for you. Under one condition, guess the correct answer to my riddle. Before you are four statues of God long past. The question is, which of these divine beings' principal elements are answers, riddles, and life? I think it's... this guy? Yep. I believe the best answers to life questions were solved through riddles. Cool. Very good. Done your homework, or that was a lucky guess. Either way, my word is my bond. We always appreciate visitors, so come and see us and our beautiful statues again. You know, honestly, if I do end up buying the, uh, the full game, yeah, I will come see you again. Hopefully. Oh, that's cool. I love this. It's got some real, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, okay. Um... It's got some real, uh... Not vaporware aesthetics. You know what I'm talking about, viewer. I trust you now. Wow. <laughs> Did you know? There may be secrets hidden here and uh, there throughout the dreams you explore. 
I heard a good way to find them is to look for walls with significantly different textures. Someone even told me of an entire secret world hidden in one of the later dreams. That's actually very helpful, thank you. I didn't know I I didn't know I'm gonna have to be like doomed texture humping and <laughs> looking for secrets, but Oh, learn to swim. Oh ho ho, ho that is an effect. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's fucking with me a little bit. Hey. Oh look at him, he has a little he has a little 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 bubble thing. From the top of infinity to as deep as deep can go. This flowing weightlessness is a comforting blanket. Let the water take you where it needs to and enjoy the ride. What is this? I'm gonna be looking for secrets. Oh, we can just go. Oh, look at that dork. Look at him. Hey. How's it going? You look cool. Hello. Oh. Can't talk right now. I've been busy digging in this quarry for weeks now. Maybe check back with me later. I might have found something cool by then. Gotcha. Check back with this guy later. Oh, this is awesome. The uh, the effects are a little um, a little much for me though, personally. Like I like the waviness, but I also hate the waviness. If that makes sense. Oh, it's one of those statues from earlier. Hey. When things become lost, they are reclaimed by the deep ocean. Thoughts, material items, civilizations, and all here. You never know what you'll find. Some would say something like that is unfathomable. I'll be here all week. Haha, <laughs> -ha, unfathomable. Yeah, it's the statues. Oh, I hope that the... I hope that the twist of this isn't going to be that when we have other dreams, we can't go back and things get destroyed. That would suck. Yeah, and this looks like the, like the, the bridge, the cat zone. Same, uh, like, stone texture. Uh-oh. Was this pyramid built here? Or up there? Why would you build something so deep down here? There are things that keep me up at night. Those platforms are looking real curious right now, though. Yeah. Can I even make that jump? No. So look for different textures. I really hope this isn't a doom, uh, again, a doom wall hump zone where it's like, I gotta look for textures that are barely different. I hope by significantly different, it meant significantly different. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, this fish effect is getting to me. There's a chair and a, uh, is that an accordion? What is this? That's a book. Yeah. Hold on. I've been down here a long time and managed to collect quite a few trinkets. Only thing I can't stop thinking about is owning a nice, big, crusty anchor. Maybe I could interest you in helping me look for one? In exchange, I'll set you up with one of my most prized possessions. Let me know when you found an anchor. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. There's a chest. Generic treasure chest. What's this? Nothing. Oh, that, yeah, that water filter is... I like the wave filter, but I also kind of hate it. I just gotta stop moving my, uh, my camera as much, I think. Laterally is fine, but when I start doing this, it starts, ugh, like that, that messes with me. <laughs> In a good way. Hey, bud, you, um... Looking like a Risk of Rain character, huh? Hey man, what's the rush? Just chill, hang out, relax. The colon you see above you are mega passive, just doing their thing. Forget about all that, man. Pull up a statue and powwow with me and my friend here. Yeah, the colon are just, oh. Who's that guy? They're just kind of chilling. I don't see an anchor anywhere. At least I couldn't tell if there was an anchor anywhere, but... Doesn't mean there isn't one, it just means that I haven't seen it. Hmm. Let's jump. Ah, uh, come on!
Come on, I, I really hope this doesn't turn into a Arco has to make a, a jump from an insanely high location stream. No, ah, damn it. I guess we could look for the anchor, I guess. You don't have anything interesting to say, or anything new to say at least. I don't see an anchor. I have a feeling we have to go back to this guy. He'll find an anchor. And then we have to go back over there to give the guy the anchor. I think. That's my guess. Yep. That's 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 exactly what I was looking for. Check that out. A big old anchor. Well, the dig continues. I'll let you take it off my hands. Maybe someone will have more an interest than me. Iron anchor clad with a thick coat of uh, rust and sea crud. You pick it up and shove it in your pocket. I love the visual of somebody just picking up a giant fucking anchor and just gone like a like a pocket dimension like a bag of holding actually just kind of every time every time you uh picture somebody just picking something up that they shouldn't just picture a bag of holding and just with that noise too just a gone it's great hey bud Set it up in front and center for the world to see. Thanks for... Find those platforms over there by the pyramid. You'll find it at the tip top. Cool. I like how he just puts it here to spin. So can I actually make the jump now? Okay, now I can actually make the jump. Okay. It's a bit more linear than I was expecting, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for a game jam game. You know what I mean? At least this version. Whoa, just you showed up. I saw another platform descend from the sky. Humans in their junk. The second they don't need it, bam. Tossed into the pearl blue. More neat stuff for us then, I guess. So wait, these aren't these guys aren't human. Are they like anglerfish? Like. Are they actual physical anglerfish? That's weird. Cool, but weird. Also, I didn't see any weird textures, so... I'm assuming there aren't any super weird textures in this one. Hey. Oh, I'm winded. What brings you up here? Trying to check out that weird artifact? Fair enough. Well, don't mind me. I'll just be admiring the foggy scenery. Does look pretty cool. I'm a little disappointed I couldn't talk with a coal lamp. I mean, it, it's a giant fish, don't get me wrong, but they look like it'd be, they'd be cool, right? They'd be kind of cool to talk to, I think. We'll say I'm happy to get out of this filter, though. Whoa. The fish filter zone. That's getting bigger. What do you have to say now? Did you know? The dev is a huge fan of 90s 3D games, if you haven't already guessed. Their favorite titles include Mega Man Legends, Mario 64, Silent Hill, and LSD Dream Emulator, just to name a few, of course. I see Silent Hill on there, I'm a little nervous. I see Silent Hill on there, I'm a little nervous. Please don't send me to the Silent Hill zone. I I'm recording this at 4 in the morning. Over the hedge. Oh, it's a little goblin! Well, I guess not a little goblin, but... Oh, there's those statues again. Do not fear the mind labyrinth. This is only a singular passage. Okay, cool, thanks. Funky textures. You can help me trim these hedges? Uh, don't bother. If it's one thing I don't need, it's someone messing things up. All these young folks sleeping all day, wearing their fancy knickknacks. Back in my day, we landscaped till the sun came up. That was our entertainment. Okay, thank you, goblin. Hello, Kroos. I think Kroos. Maybe Spikes. Do not fear the Mind Labyrinth. It is Mind Labyrinth. It's a pretty alright place, honestly. If lost or confused, please call your guardian. Texture. This texture looks weird. Hmm. This texture looks weird. Every texture looks weird to me. Hello? Oh. 
so tired, so sleepy, so comfy. You should find another way. <sighs> you should find another way. A little bit. <sighs> Man, that actually made me yawn. <laughs> Note to self, kids. Do not record at four in the morning. Yeah? The orange figure watches you while you dream. That's... Oh, him. Hello. Hefty looking chest is sitting here. You swear you've seen it before. Yeah, I did. Where would one find a key? With the orange guy, who's not gonna be there anymore when I look back. No, he's there. I vaguely thought I saw him earlier in the water zone, but that might that might just be me like imagining things. This guy move yet? Nope. Where would I find a key in this weird zone for me? Oh. Indigenous maze plants. Do not touch or lick. You lick the maze plant. Shame on you. I'd poke it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like lick it. Is this a f no? Not a fake texture. Not a fake texture. Okay. Wait. You look like someone that can't get- You look like someone that can't get where they need to be. Let me guess. Brother's in the way again? Yep. I'll have a move for you. Catch you later, bub. <laughs> Glad I read him in the exact dialect that uh, he actually was. Okay, so all the goblins actually do sound like the, the shitty New York. Shitty bad. Bad. This. Whatever this accent is. Was I in the way? Sorry. Get so tired lazing around all day. Feel bad now. I don't know. I'll make it up to you with a gift. Take my old skeleton key. Never found out what it went to. Thanks. Sleepy Maze Goblin offers you an old heirloom in the shape of a key. What could this go to, you wonder? You take the key. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I can't I can't lick the other maze plants? You bother the maze plant because you have nothing better to do. Okay, wait, I can. You touch the maze plant. Was that satisfying to you, criminal? Okay, good. Thank you, Dev. Except this one. Offer a coin and your wish will come true. Subtle lapping in the fountain water soothes you. If you had a coin, surely it'd be time to make a wish. I don't see any weird textures, so... Now I'm just on a lookout for it, so I, I, I will say, don't blame me if I miss it, but... I feel like this should be obvious. Like a, like a really obvious texture now that I'm looking for it, you know what I mean? But, hello, orange man. Insert the key you got from the sleeping maze goblin. The inner workings of the chest locking mechanism clicks as it opens. A coin! You find a shiny golden coin inside the chest. Something tells you this is a lucky day. You take the coin of excitement. Can I take the key back? No? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love games like this where you can just kind of explore an area. Like again, assuming this is all from dreams, like um, usually is the implication. Man, it's so weird that he'd remember the maze plants and then the this the way the the fencing looks. Put the coin into the fountain. Your wish will forever remain a secret. I wish to continue the game because it's comfy. And hopefully not filled with horrors beyond mankind's comprehension. Where one path ends, three branch from it. Hmm. See, like, look at this. This would be a really comfy walk, I think. Like, just the smells... The sights, the sounds. Where one path ends, three branch from it. Is that an indicator that I should go back? That might be an indicator to go back where to one of the uh, dead ends, but three branch from it could also just mean there's three left, but... Hmm. Where one path ends, three branch from it. It's not this one. 
We need to go check the uh, the other path ends really quick. I'll shut up for a little bit too, so you can enjoy the uh, set piecing. Life gets compared to a lot of things, you know? A beach, a game, or something about lemons. I think it's mostly like a big maze. I mean, think about it. But all the other things in a maze, and I don't think you'll get a better comparison. Just talking about it is making my head spin. Don't get lost. It's only a singular passage. Oh, I can't. I was hoping I could I could touch the the hedge and he'd get a little mad. Why are you touching the hedge? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any other secrets in this area, and as far as I can tell, there's no textures, no uh, weird textures. So I guess we'll just go for it. I like that light shaft right there. It's very odd. The fact that the dev took the time to put light shafts in here is just a really nice touch. You know what I mean? It's something you didn't have to do, but I appreciate it. Even this, these little overhangs. I guess that's that. Well, so far this has been pretty comfy. What happens if I... Whoa. Hmm. There's like a red flash, you see that? Hmm. Boing. Hey there. Did you know I was the first model the dev made and then animated when production began? The idea of a cute white rabbit leading you around dreams sounded very Alice in Wonderland, so I was born. My name, Gagi, is derived from the game's title, Hypnagogia, and you pronounce it Hypnagogia. Ah, Hypnagogia? Hypnagogia. Hypnagogia. I'm gonna keep saying Hypnagogia <laughs> for the sake of it, but. Oh. Edge of the world. Hey! Is this the end of the world or the end for something more metaphorical? The weather's not doing us any favors, so don't think about it too hard. It's a scary world out there, especially if it's your world that's in the mix. Strangers may try to fool you, but they have no control over your choices. That's a very oddly specific sentiment, friend. You know, I know this area looks a little dismal, but it doesn't actually feel that dismal. I, I mean, aside from the, the flesh ocean out there, I was going to say, like, I love the, the suburban, like, rain setting. It's more like, um, I mean, with the cables, I guess it's more of an apocalyptic thing, but I see it more as like a noir type deal. Oh, this looks sneaky. Can I go up this? No. Well, you're absolutely terrifying, but you have a PSO, uh, PS logo next to you. Hey. Dang kids in the tags. Dang kids in the tags. I assume this is, wait. Oh, Alpha Beta, I am familiar with that. There's Ichio, John Wolf, 2020. I can't read that one. LS, no, LSD Jam. Then, Manly Badass Hero. Okay. You know, it's funny because between the, and Vine Sauce. Yeah, that's <laughs> all the people that I heard about this from. Who, who would you guess? I watch a little bit of Alpha Beta in case anybody's curious. Uh, I do some, watch some Manly Badass Hero, but not much. 
And Vine Sauce, uh, I've been watching Vinny for a long time on and off. I don't recognize that name, though. I'm not sure. But I think it's cool that the dev put people in here and Ichio and all that. And I, I think that's cute. Good job, dev. I like it. Let's just appreciate that for a second, because that looks really good. And then, of course, that. Wait a minute. Out of curiosity. Okay, it would have been devious if you'd made the Vine Sauce logo the, the, the no-clip point, but... <laughs> I'm glad you didn't do that. Oh, that's... Hey. As long as I stay here, I'm warm. I need that fire. You can't have any. I wish I could give you some, but I can't. If I gave you any, I would keep warm. Give me a break here. I mean, that's fine. I don't need any of your fire. I'm doing okay. People really struggling just to make do, huh? I mean, that's kind of life in a nutshell, but you know what I mean. Here's the bookshelf in the cat library. I lost nearly everything after the flood. Left my house in shambles, as you can see. All I have left is this chair and a bunch of soggy books. Only one of which is actually dry and legible. A dictionary of all things. Maybe they'll be worth something to someone, and I can get back on my feet. Man, they weren't kidding about this being a downer world, but... Hmm. Go away, we're full. Go away, we're full. Go away, we're okay. There's the escape crystal. Are you here to check out that thing too? Yeah, weird looking structure. Been here for some reason. No clue what's the end of it. I'd give it a go, but you know, I'm not really feeling it. If you're brave enough to hop over there, let me know if you find anything. We couldn't make it. Okay. I was curious if this one is going to be like the dev letting us just leave, but no. Oh, I love that light, that casting. There's an overwhelming amount of ways to keep ourselves entertained nowadays. Although I yearned for the good old days, we just sat back and read a book. Um, books. I seem to be in pretty short supply lately. Tell you what, you find a nice book to read and I'll give you a hint. Seems like a fair trade, right? Knowledge for knowledge. So much garbage strewn about all the time. The floor you're walking on right now? Lead of garbage. These clothes I'm wearing? Complete garbage. Why bother recycling our trash when we can just make new trash? Yeah. I'm, I'm reading into some tones about the, uh... Nature of existence in modern society and just, uh... A lot of that. Not necessarily anything discernible, but at least I'm getting that. Sell you my dictionary, it's all I got. No money on you? I'm kidding, it's not worth anything anyways. It's yours, take it. Never learned anything from it. I left it over in the bookshelf, have fun. It's dry. Marion Jepster's Collegiate Dictionary, 2nd edition, 1990. Fascinating read, you're sure. Well... I mean... It's a dictionary. It's gotta have something interesting in there. At least you can learn new onomatopoeia and words to stuff into sentences like that for no reason. A dictionary? A joke of a... Is that your idea of a hilarious joke? That's what I had in mind when I mentioned entertainment, but uh, it's better than nothing. I don't think it'll make good kindling. Now for my equally disappointing hint. At the edge of town is a concrete structure covered in graffiti. It's been there longer than I can remember, and no one's been brave enough to explore it. Everyone says they've seen some kind of shining object at the end of it. You should go check it out. I'm assuming that's the trigger that opened the, uh... That actually opened the thing. Oh, there we go. Got any loose change on you? I need to get out of the rain. Not at all, that's fine. Take care out there, I'll just stay here, hoping the next guy will come along with something for me. 
I feel like there's hints that you can bring stuff from the other worlds, but I don't necessarily have any way to confirm that. At least not in this version. Maybe in the few the uh, actual version, there's more to it, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Also, distinct different texture. Still haven't seen anything that's popped out to me as a, a secret different texture you can clip into, but... Yeah, not really sure. I figured it would be, like, around here, or there'd be, like, a hint of it, but... The dev kind of made a note that it's going to be super obvious when you see it, so... Maybe, maybe I already passed it. Maybe, it, maybe I'm just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit more blind than I thought. You know, a while ago, uh, I had to start wearing glasses and I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's just proof that I'm going blind. Ugh. Yeah, here I'll... Doesn't really look covered in graffiti per se. Just kind of... little bit not taken care of. I guess kind of graffiti. Is it over here? Nah. Whoop! Okay, so far so good. Man, but for just a game jev game, a game jev, game jam game, a solo dev. I I mean, I know he's probably proud of it, and I know it's already a product at this point, but I want to reinforce that, because it's an amazing job. Did you know? Hypnagogy is a term used to describe the transition between wakefulness and sleep. I actually did know that. During this state, people have experienced strange hallucinations, lucid dreams, but scariest of all, yeah, sleep paralysis. Themes of this game are an attempt at depicting dreams while in, uh, induced by the state. Yeah, here comes the sleep paralysis zone, huh? I know the last time I had sleep paralysis, I thought I was going to stop breathing, and I had to, like, force myself to get up. Find the f Oh, I hate this. Hey, buddy. Not always feasible to live in your safe zone, you know? Sometimes you gotta leave it for a little, ease into the unknown. There's a certain staleness in the air if we're uncomfortable and lost. Looking past it and moving on is the best you can do. I should have taken that advice better. Oh. Door doesn't feel real, more like it's painted on. You can't leave. Hmm. Staircase is made of red velvet. I, I like how it's all made of, like, this fake velvet. This fake, weird velvet. It's almost flesh-like in some sort of, like, weird appearance. Looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. Lock is broken. Also, side note before we continue. I absolutely love that chandelier. You're probably not a jump scare in any capacity. What's up? I still watch my old favorite shows on every chance I get on repeat. It's the only way I can uh, truly tune out all the bad noise that surrounds me. I don't care how much it melts my brain. It's satisfying hearing familiar things. Ah, the theme of this is going to be you should get out of your comfort zone in order to experience things, which uh, I guess that's a lesson I could take the heart. I've kind of not done that. Ever feel like you've been stuck somewhere for seemingly forever? A lot of the time. It's like the exit's right behind me, but I can't see it. I'm so comfortable here, though, it's hard to explain. You get into a sense of... normalcy, I think is what this game's trying to convey. Don't really think I have anything more to add than that. I have everything I need here. It's my perfect private paradise. It leaves me vulnerable, and I don't want that. It's happened before, and it'll happen again. Why bother risking it? 
Would you really call this a perfect paradise? Looking outside in. Endless channels, media, sounds. It all gets a bit mushy after a while. I have nothing new to listen to. I need new sounds, something to help me sleep. If I had a radio or something, it'd put me at ease again. Will you help me fill the void with something pleasant for once? Maybe turn off the TV and, uh, I don't know, go outside, take a walk for five minutes? It's the small things that help you get through shit like this, even if it's, you know, not necessarily going to fix your life. You should still try something. Same location, okay. I'm a firm believer, viewer, in that if you're... If you're feeling, uh, depressed in some way or form, in that you feel stagnant, the best thing you can do for yourself in the moment is take a walk and try to recenter yourself. Go down a new street. Maybe, uh, go down a new road. Take in the sights. The outside's always different. There's always something new to see. You know what I mean? And that helps me sometimes, whenever I feel like this. I love the chair tower. Hmm. Again, that chandelier, just the slow spinning of that chandelier with the lights being cast from it. Oh, that's creepy. It's giving off life, but or light, but it's not actually giving off light. It's just creepy. Here you go. Feel a little more complete than before. Maybe now I can sleep again. Maybe you can wake up. Thanks. I hope you can find the noise that suits you too. the clock. Old withered clock hands stuck on 1201. You can still hear the ticking of the pendulum. Okay. Hey. It's not always feasible to live in your safe zone. For a second with the way the light was casting, I thought he had, like he didn't have a normal face and it was like a weird smile. Kind of like the happy mask salesman for a split second. But that's just me. Lock is broken. Wait. Huh. Good transition. I didn't even notice it. It was probably the clock as a trigger, but... Texture? No. This weird elevator system. This is very cool, though. Very, very cool. I wish I could figure out where that texture was. But... Maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe it's something for the full release, you know? Oh, this uncanny feeling. It's not necessarily fear, just... It's uncanny. 
When was the last time I shaved? My reflection is there, but the glass is fogged. I won't find anything interesting here. No one will probably even get this far. I'm so hungry, but I'm too tired to make anything. There's a tunnel over there. I'd go with you, but I have to stay here. Can't ever leave. Take care. I don't... I don't really know how to respond to that, honestly. I feel a little... sad for that guy. You don't have any money. Besides, the product looks a little gray and bland. No thanks. I wish I could, like, buy him something. Ah, it's the Hypnagogia tube. Now going back. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, whoa. What? Though it doesn't feel real, more like it's painted on. You can't leave. What are you? You're a person. Oh, I don't like how my camera snapped. <laughs> Your dreams. No. No, those, those are mine. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Eh. Is this the sneaker? No. Is this the sneaker? That's creepy. It's such a... I feel such a mishmash of themes there where it's like there's certain... things you can definitely tell where it's just creepy. Oh, God. You still got two more. I hope there's no jump scares. <laughs> I... Again, it's uh, 4.40 in the morning. It's gone on a lot longer than I thought, but... I hope there's no jump scares. Did you know there's an entire commentary script within the game folder? I actually saw that. I didn't get a chance to uh, read it. And, well, I kind of ignored it. Describes the origins of each stream in this one in the game. Check it out. Please, no spooky horror gremlin zone. That would... Please just be weird, depressing. Oh, you really... Gotta do this to me. Oh, this brings back some fucking memories. Ugh. Hey, bud, you're here. If you ever find yourself cold and alone, cling to something, anything. It doesn't matter if you forgot the answers to that one test. No one blames you when you relate to that one meeting. It's all just a bunch of numbers, pointless records, and data entries. The rock we live on rotates another day. It's going to be okay. That's actually some pretty sound advice. Pretty sound advice for being a, a person who can deal with things. Hey, gremlin. Come here. Wanna say hi? Gremblino? Gremblino, please, I wanted to say hi. What is that? Interact. There's a chain link fence. It feels completely immovable, like it's frozen in time. Ugh. That's good advice, honestly. I like genuinely really good advice. Cling to whatever you can in the dark times. That was some kind of meat. Ugh. Mmm, don't you want some crust meat? It's crust meat. Hello. Lifeless mannequin stares blinkly into space. Bleakly is the word I'm looking for. Hello. Misses its friends. God, I want to, you know, I'm going to read the commentary after this and figure out what the hell this dream was, because holy shit. I never have dreams like this. The last time I had a spooky dream was, um, it involved, like, an interstate and some, uh, like, it was like a Wendigo werewolf creature thing, and that thing was, um, not really that scary, honestly. It's hungry. Give me some food will satisfy it. Who knows? It wasn't necessarily scary. It was just more like, I remember, you know those like images of people dueling monsters in the woods. It was one of those where I had essentially like a Glock and and the knowledge that there is a Wendigo right there and I have to deal with it. And I was remember mentally running through my head of like, how am I going to deal with this? What are some plans? As it just kind of, we circled. And that's the last spooky dream I had. 
Just picture a skeleton man with a Glock dueling of, of, of Wendigo in the middle of like a forest and there you go. Feels unfulfilled. We'll do something fulfilling, Goober. Wants to go home. I wish I could help you. Strange, it looks like a quarter, but it's thick and heavy. You take it. Wank. Da 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 Large hunk of meat. Oh. Oh, it's <laughs> it's literally like a it's like a ham shank. Hunk of meat. You're not able to discern by its appearance what animal it may have come from. You take the meat. Mannequin will probably want this. You know, never in my life did I think I'd hear the sentence, the mannequin probably wants the meat, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe, maybe it does. Maybe the mannequin's just a little hungry. A little, little nervous out here. The mannequin doesn't really know what it's doing, you know? Hello. The lifeless mannequin is tired now. You feel a wave of intense foreboding overtake your body. Oh, that's cool. Great. Right. Right. You, you good? I don't feel foreboding. I feel strong and empowered and uh, questioning why the lights are starting to go down. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Hello. You want to talk? No? Nobody wants to wants to talk to me anymore? Come on, we're all friends here, right? Friends in this abysmal hellscape. Oh, this is definitely simulating some uh, some feelings when I was in high school and I felt like all eyes were on me and it was a mess. Hello. It's just the hungry mannequin. It was hungry. That's it. Not like angry or menacing. It was just hungry. Hungry mannequin. Hungry, hungry mannequin, I tell you. Hello. Ooh, this is uh, some Zelda stuff. I love this. Hmm. You know, one thing I like to do when I'm playing horror games is the, uh... The advice that we were given was literally hold on to something. You know, and holding on to the idea of just being able to talk about myself in front of the, you know, the internet is uh, what keeps me through horror games most of the time. It doesn't work that much. Like if I get into a real horror game where I'm like, you know, like Silent Hill, I will, I will just panic. And I know I'm not in any real danger, but you know, it's just how I feel. So, you know. Did you know the dev has other games we've made that you can play for free on their Itch.io page? If you're enjoying the experience so far, they'd love it if you try the others too. I just might. Honestly. I mean, I have a channel dedicated to playing indie games, I might as well. Oh god. Prison of Souls! Oh, dude, we went Doom now? Oh, we're in Doom now. Oh. They're trying to keep you from waking up. I won't let them. The passage to wakefulness must be protected at all costs. Whatever it takes, don't listen or look at them. Focus your mind and clear your thoughts. You'll wake up soon. Oh, it's weird that there's things that want to keep us in here. I don't like that. Oh, okay, Dev, I will say one thing. You oh, really didn't have to give me the, the wibbly wobbly filter. Oh, oh God, the wibbly wobbly filter. Okay, that's a little. I, I get what you're going for with the constant screaming, you know, the, the, the screaming and the wibbly wobbliness, but it's a little. It's a little it's a little much for me, honestly. Oh. Hey, rabbit. Bye, rabbit. How do, where do I go from here? Oh. Cool. I love the, the metal clang, by the way, and that metal texture. Hey. There's a cat. Ooh, oh, it's one of those. Okay. Don't... Da 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 I don't belong here, but where do I belong? I don't remember. Air is thick and damp. It's getting harder to breathe. 
I'm gonna try and manipulate me with my friends, you fucking weird lantern people. That sucks. What are you? I can't even see what you are. Oh, you're the, the mask lad. Uh, hey. This nightmare will be eaten. Oh, is he gonna eat the nightmare? Oh, that'd be amazing. If the dream eater literally just... No more nightmares. He's a homie that's protecting us. Oh, no. Nope. Da -da -da -da. Man, this is definitely the, the quintessential... Um, quintessential... What's the word I'm looking for? Sleep paralysis type of deal. This, this wibbly wobbling feeling is definitely 100% sleep paralysis. And honestly, the constant climbing like this where we're going nowhere... When the last time I was in sleep paralysis, I mentioned I, I felt like I wasn't going to keep breathing. And I remember I had to specifically, like, there was like a thing in the corner moving closer to me. And I kind of had this moment where, like, if I don't get up, I will die. And I am not going to do that. So, I don't know if that works for everybody, but try it. Oh. Man, I missed the secret. I'm sad the goblins didn't show up again. Bye. Thanks, homie. New dream select mode unlocked. Oh, there it definitely... No, 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 no. There definitely is more for this then. That means you can bring them things that they, um... From the specific dreams, I'm assuming. Music, use your permission. Old track. Soda Raptor. Soda Raptor, you did a good job. I think especially for working so hard for a long time on this, I think it came out really well. And it does sell that dream vibe, which, um... I think it's pretty good. I hope this doesn't close it while I'm doing this, but ideally I'd like to read you guys some of the dev commentary while we're here. Just because I think that'd be good for us. So we'll start with Cat World. <clears throat> this world came from a more recurring dream I have every so often, rather a specific one. Occasionally I'll run into my cat, Morty, while dreaming of outside places such as fields, parks, or backyards. I always feel comfortable and happy after I wake up. Uh, to no surprise, Morty is sitting beside my bed, begging for food. Sky World. This world was inspired by a dream I had one night that involves me waking around in a little, a very high up and brightly lit place where the floors are made of shiny glass. I kept hearing wind chimes or mel melodic clinging randomly throughout the dream. There's this big statue sat in the middle of a room that had inscriptions written all over it. I woke up feeling very cold, like I'd just gotten in from a windy day. Let's go to the main menu really quick and I'll continue reading these. Just because I feel like these are, you know, should be explored a bit. <clears throat> so, anyway. Waterworld. World came from me, uh, came from a dream where I was running on a beach. And I remember my movements feeling very sluggish in the sand. At some point I fell into the ground and the sand turned into water. All around me was foggy blue water and sand. It was some kind of aquarium. There are these huge, look, weird-looking fish that had very sharp teeth that floated by but didn't harm me, and I was able to touch them. I remember waking up feeling out of breath and very thirsty. Maze World! Origin of this dream is really strange. I dreamt that I was in a large, grassy field. I was looking at an entrance to some sort of tall hedge maze. Right next to my entrance was my dad, but he had green skin, long pointed ears. He complained to me about the good old days. <laughs> I ended up getting lost in the, uh, running into different people who I knew that all looked like goblins or trolls. City World. <clears throat> dream was inspired by the user name from the hashtag Dream Journal Discord channel. I'm assuming that's part of the, um, LSD Discord, if they have one. <clears throat> they described the following. I had this dream of a weird concrete structure that was on the edge of the world, which had graffiti on it, and somehow, uh, was to do with LSD. I took that, uh, oh, somehow has to do with LSD. That's the end of the quote, okay. 
I took it from that idea, a great dilapidated city with huge crumbling skyscrapers, city set on a flooded plateau in the middle of nowhere, edge of strange warped concrete structure covered in graffiti. The player has to talk with some random hopeless people who may or may not want to do things for them. Eventually, you'd have to platform along the concrete structure to collect the dream crystal. Number six is Hotel Dream. This world is an amalgamation of both dreams I've had it. And a dream user, Crust Marauder, had described in the Dream Journal Discord channel. They described the following. Quote, I was inside a building consisting of narrow hallways leading to a classroom of sorts. There was a tiled restroom with no door and a mirror, and I saw an orange humanoid thing. Nothing was there when I turned around. The orange humanoid thing, I felt, made an interesting element, and he became a hidden reoccurring presence the player can find in every dream. I wanted the player to have some sort, of, sort of watcher that monitored them as they progressed. As for the rest of the concept, my family and I moved around a lot when I was younger. Uh, due to my dad being in the military, I always had dreams of different bases we visited. There was this bland, depressing, red burgundy color scheme on every wall and floor. Hallways are very long with small and large rooms, but nothing inside. Number seven is School Dream, and then this one's obvious. We've all had that dream where we're in a state of panic because we're running late to class or missed an assignment. My dreams are no different. I remember a couple months ago, at the time of writing, I dreamt that I had fallen asleep in the bathroom of my old high school. There was a faint bell and I ended up running down the bathroom to the hall. What felt like hours. One of my classmates uh, I entered looked like a janitor's closet containing random stuff with a mannequin with no head. And at some point I ended up finding a trash can near some of the vending machines that were full of different types of meat. The mannequin started appearing in different rooms in the hallways and the school became very small and I was no longer able to fit in it. That's definitely accurate to that one. Ooh, he marks the hidden world here too, by the way, which I'm going to name it as Snow Dream, but I'm not going to read that entry. We'll read the last one for Dream 8. Rather than a specific occurrence, this dream was created from... So this is Prison Dream, by the way. Uh, rather than a specific occurrence, this dream was created from the countless times I've been a victim of severe sleep paralysis. I was right. Uh, I don't have a good explanation for why it happens, uh, whether it's due to stress, diet, or bad sleep, but there are frequently times where I've woken up completely immobilized in bed. Oh my god, that's terrifying. My most recent experiences are mostly the inspiration for Prison World. I vaguely remember having a dream about something pleasant, something involving hanging out with my friends at a park. For some reason, the sky got really dark and friends disappeared. I got a tingling sort of jolt that woke me up, but I couldn't move and was still in my pitch black room. I distinctly remember a very raspy, hoarse voice next to my bed giving out a long, exasperated groan. Like that girl from the ring. <laughs> I immediately bolted my body upwards to get out of the paralysis and turn the light on, uh, but nothing was there. I was covered in sweat and couldn't sleep for the rest of the night. Yeah, those that's how... That's how this stuff goes. Anyway, so that was Hypnagogia. I think that might be the secret world. Uh, we'll actually do the secret world if it's there. So good to see you again. Just in the Enhanced Dream Hub, or the Hub Plus as we call it. From here you can jump into any dream you entered whenever you want. Even the secret dream. Just read each crystal, know what you're jumping into, and then touch it. Have fun exploring. I love games that let you just explore things like this. What is this one? Secret dream. Well, I'm a little disappointed I missed the texture, but we're going to go check out the secret dream. And then I think we're we're done. Oh. What a blisteringly blinding field of wintry goodness. Bit of stark contrast to where we just were, isn't it? The delicate touch of snowflakes makes me feel all tingly inside. Let's forget our troubles and make friends with everyone we meet. Yeah, I definitely feel that when it comes to Christmas. Anything that has to do with snow, I always feel that comfort of just like it's cold but it's a nice cold oh man i hope this world isn't super big just looking at it looked huge hello little coat goobers i can't wait for this to finish cooking i've been waiting for hours a warm meal on a cold day is something to never take for granted i would advise everybody uh during cold winter nights to make yourself some soup uh any type of soup will do but soup is good northern elk haunch fire if you're ever in need of companionship. It's definitely a nice contrast to the other worlds. Try to keep our life in the village simple and contained. Not much, but it helps to have a moderately, yeah, moderately carefree outlook on things. I like how this is like a combination of every other dream. It's maximum comfort. Warm crackling fire and someone to share it with are all I need. Oh, I feel that. Like, we got the fire elements from the other thing. We got the, the meat. We have the elements of loneliness tackled in a different way. Definitely nice. We've explored further up north. There's a huge mountain. Your elder lives up there. She's a little reclusive, but makes great snow tea. What would snow tea even be? 
Also, objective, build a snowman. I, I have to. Hello, coat friend. I haven't seen you before, but you look friendly. You should play with us. We're trying to make a snowman, but he's missing his head. Friend was supposed to help us, but she caught a cold. You should check at her in the village. In the village? Hmm. I didn't see anybody in the village specifically with a cold. Or nobody stuck out with a cold, but maybe it was you? Great glass ceiling above us that controls the weather. I mean, all we've ever known in the life of endless ice tundras and snowfall. For all I know, she could have been telling the truth, maybe. Oh, it's like a snow globe. It's like an actual snow globe. Huh. That's a little bit of an interesting contrast. Hello. What do they say? They need help finishing ahead? I'll go and help, but my elders will be angry if you see me glue. Bring me a good sliced ball of snow and I'll give you these buttons and a carrot to decorate it with. This is a nice refreshing dream compared to the other one. I like this. Very comfy. You know, uh, out where I live, uh, we don't really get snows like this, but I remember when I was a kid, we got one that was super crazy, and we got to, I got to make snowmen, and I got to do snow angels, and just, this brings back pleasant memories, I think. You pushed the roll of snow off the cliff! Balls collected a bunch of snow? Fit enough for a snowman. This almost feels like music that you'd hear in a like a JRPG, right? At least that's how I feel. Where this almost feels like a JRPG town you'd walk into and it's just uh it's just comfy. Great looking snowball. Well, more like a snow boulder. Here, put this carrot and a bunch of buttons on it. Just give him a cute face. Take the head over to my friends. They should be able to finish the snowman now. Nice. Looks great. You take it. I'll read the dev commentary for the, the well, this world after this, and then I think we'll, we'll wrap it up. This has been a nice, pleasant hour or so. A nice experience. And I know I've been talking through a lot of it, but... It's very comfy. Here you go. Thanks for all the help. You should speak to our elder. She lives atop the mountain up north. Be careful getting up there. It's a tricky climb. Good job, snowman. You live your dreams, snowman. And coat friends. I wonder where that missing texture was for the, um... For the zone. Oh, what's this? That was probably unintentional. Dev, if you happen to watch it, I, I don't, he probably won't, honestly, but Dev, if you happen to watch it, I'd love to know where that, that texture was. Or if anybody who, who's played this happens to know, please comment. If you're liking the video and the piss poor commentary, feel free to like the video and subscribe and do all that stuff. If not, don't. But I'd appreciate you saying hello. It'd make my day. Who knows? Maybe we'll have an exciting commentary going on in the comments about this game. Check on this video in like four years, and if there's a bunch of comments, then I was right. Oh, nice. Hello. What's this? A strange visitor from far away? Come to visit my mountaintop hut? How interesting. Surely you didn't make the trip all the way here for nothing. Forgive me, an old woman grows cold. Fetch me my tea, would you? It's on the fire. There's a pot of tea here. Is this just boiling water? <laughs> Grab the pot by the handful of great care. It's just snow tea. God. Thank you. Have you ever had snow tea? It's exactly what you think it is. All natural. Anyway, I believe I know why you're here and what you seek. Dreaming is a marvelous thing, no? One minute you're fast asleep without a care in the world. The next you're deep into something weird and sinister that you can't escape or explain. Where do all these thoughts come from? I want to think it doesn't matter so much. Either way, 
the dreams happen, whether we want them to or not. I know the journey you're on is often wrought with confusion, frightening things. You're almost through, my dear. Dreams and nightmares don't last forever. I'll provide you a way to return, or you may finish your travels. Outside, you'll find a crystal. Touch it when you wish to leave this place. Keep yourself warm during these cold days. A cup of hot tea can go a long way. Goodbye. Very insightful. Also very nice of her. Just blatantly, hey, here's some, uh, here's some knowledge, here's some things, and goodbye. I like how this game recontextualizes dreams and their meanings constantly, which I know was the ex intended experience, but I appreciate it. Here. Lastly, I will read you guys the rest of the dev commentary, and then we're done. Dev again. Overall, I think this is a phenomenal little game, and I'm probably going to pick up the full version, but we'll see. Maybe I'll give it some time, just to let it sink in. <clears throat> Snow Dream. If you discover the secret dream, good job. If not, it can be found through the wall behind the hungry mannequin in the school dream. I didn't... I didn't really see that. I guess... Well, there you go, Dev did tell me in some way, but um, I didn't notice that, but I, I think that's a nice little zone over there. This world came from a dream I had long, long ago that I'll always remember for some reason. About 20 years ago, my family and I lived on West Point, New York, because my dad was stationed there. During much of the winter, I stayed inside and played video games, but one night, I dreamt that the neighborhood we lived in was completely cleared out, leaving nothing but a large, empty field covered in snow. There were hundreds of trees dotting the field, and I saw different school friends who were running around, climbing the trees, and building snowmen. I couldn't see their faces, but I knew where they were. They all wearing bright red clothing. They kept telling me I was sick and needed to go home, but I didn't listen to them. I went to sneeze in the dream, and it woke me up. That That's a very cute and wholesome dream experience, but... Anyway, my name was Arco. My name is Archer. I don't know why I said Arco. I hope you enjoyed. And again, uh, hopefully we'll see more from this dev. Uh, especially now that I've played this, and we'll see more of this in general. I think if I had to pick a favorite world, I'd definitely pick the Sky World. Something about the wind chime aesthetic in the waterfalls just really calls to me. If I had to pick a least favorite that wasn't the horror worlds, I, I think it was Water World. But that being said, I think it was just the filter for Water World. Also, I did not get to pet the lamprey, which or, or pet the uh, the fish. I forgot what specific fish terminology he used, but. And I think a lot of the messages about specific dream feelings and things are very very nice. I think they're very straightforward and easy to understand, but also still applicable. Uh, just general, I like playing games that have like these little tidbits of wisdom. Whether you have to listen to them or not is complete bullshit, you know what I mean? You, you could do whatever you want, but I feel like it's optimal to have things like that. And hopefully this dev has gone on to make uh, tons of cool things. Who knows? Again, maybe if he sees this. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he will. Love to pick his brain a little bit about more dreams we didn't get to see. But uh, again, again, my name is Archer. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Remember, safe dreams, safe passages, and, well, safe memories. Goodbye.